The offseason is fully underway, and apparently the Las Vegas Raiders are interested in wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Let's discuss this, and let's just jump right into it. Uh, Evan Massey, who is featured on Forbes, ESPN, Yahoo, Fox Sports, BR, SI, uh, he owns apparently these three networks. Apparently, he's saying that the Raiders are among teams that are interested in Odell Beckham Jr. If the Browns indeed make him available, that is. They'll be shopping for an upgrade at wide receiver this offseason. And that's a very bold and very interesting statement. Uh, first and foremost, I do not think the Raiders are interested in shopping for an upgrade at wide receiver. In fact, I think if you've just listened to Mike Mayock and if you've just listened to John Gruden, uh, they are only interested in one uh, position or one unit to really fix and that's the defense side of the football right Paul Gunther's gone Gus Bradley's brought in uh, you're going to fix that defense right you can't be the 32nd best or I should say the absolute worst defense in the NFL and think you're going to win any sort of games well Evan Massey of whatever decides that he's going to put this tweet out and I do not believe anything this guy says in fact I think this guy just puts out random stuff and he doesn't actually have sources uh, in my opinion it doesn't make sense for the Raiders to shop and upgrade at the wide receiving position. It makes more sense to just bring back your one guy who is potentially a free agent this year, right? Nelson Aguilar, uh, chances are he's going to most likely be gone, right? Unless he decides he wants to stick with the Raiders and assuming the Raiders have the money to bring him back. Our offense is really not that big of an issue. I think there could be upgrades made at certain positions. We can obviously save money at certain positions. Um, but shopping for a wide receiver, that to Odell Beckham Jr., it's going to take a first-round pick to bring him in. Uh, but just to stay with this guy specifically, and just to talk a little bit about I do not believe this guy, um, I went to his profile on Twitter. Uh, I kind of went through his timeline a little bit, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He doesn't really seem credible. Um, you know, even this morning, he put it out there that apparently the 49ers are still looking to make a move at quarterback, uh, and Kirk Cousins, I'm told, is a name to keep an eye on. Um, I feel like this guy just kind of throws things out there. He kind of just throws around things that might make sense based off of certain connections. Um, I even went to his website, uh, and his website's really just like, it, a lot of it's like clickbait, uh, and it's tr to, to try to get traffic to come to his site, right? Like, you see this first one. Uh, the, this Packers-Browns trade sends Odell Beckham Jr. to Green Bay. Uh, he had another one down here. The Raiders-Falcons trade would send Julio Jones to Las Vegas. The Vikings-Colts trade would send Adam Thielen to uh, Indianapolis. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? It kind of looks like he just throws things around. Uh, here's another one. Raiders suggested as potential trade destination for Carson Wentz. Um, you know, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, on top of that, you know, uh, Raiders B, I was reading their article and they make a lot of very valid points in their article. Now, I don't really want to read into this, um, but I want to give you guys a couple of examples as to why it doesn't make sense. Financially speaking, um, Odell Beckham Jr. is under contract, right? For the 2021 season, he is owed $15.7 million, which for a top tier wide receiver, that's not a whole lot of money, right? That's about market value. Uh, but the issue is, is if the Browns did decide to move on or trade him, they'd be hit with a $12.7 million cap penalty. Uh, in other words, you're only saving $3 million by moving on from Odell Beckham Jr. On top of that, not only does the, it not financially make sense, he's your best wide receiver. Why would you really want to move on from him, right? Uh, I do understand how some people say that he isn't a great teammate. Uh, and personally, when I watch the Browns or anytime I have watched the Browns, um, it seems like to me that when Odell Beckham Jr. is on the field, uh, their offense does not click the same way as opposed to when he's off the field, right? I feel like Jarvis Landry, those, those running backs, um, the O-line, I feel like it all goes well together. But when Odell Beckham is out there, it kind of seems like Baker Mayfield is forcing throws to Beckham. Uh, and that's the last thing I would want for the Raiders to have on their team. Like, I would not want a wide receiver who is going to tell Derek that, hey, throw me the ball 10 times a game. Uh, because then it messes the rhythm up of the offense. Uh, now, would I love a home run hitter like Beckham? Absolutely, right? But that's why we took a wide receiver in the first round this past year, right? That's why we went out and got Henry Ruggs, is for him to be that home run hitter. So it doesn't make sense for the Raiders to go out and trade their picks away to bring in Odell Beckham. Again, he's 28, so it's not going to be cheap, right? It's at least one first round pick. 
Um, it doesn't make sense from a financial perspective. It doesn't make sense from the perspective of it's not our offense, it's our defense, right? We all know that with this team, we are uh, not that far away, right? So Odell Beckham does not make sense, but I want to know what you guys think. Like, should the Raiders bring in Beckham? Should they not? What are some of the benefits? What are some of the uh, negatives of potentially bringing him in? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.